When you do not believe in yourself, you do not feel that you deserve the good things of life. Even though you admire the beauty and wealth that comes your way, and even dream of being rich and free, you know at an emotional level that these things are not for you. So you subconsciously avoid them or sabotage any opportunities that come along. When you do not believe in yourself, you do not feel that you deserve the praise and appreciation that people give you. You feel that there is nothing good in you and when people give you compliments, you tell them that they are flattering you. Deep down, you wish that these nice things that people say about you or to you should be true, but somehow you find yourself resisting them. When you do not believe in yourself, you do not feel confident in taking the actions that convert opportunities into fortunes. You see opportunities, you analyze them, you get excited about how good they are, you even recommend them to your friends. But as for you, you do nothing. Sometimes you get so heated up that you tiptoe toward the opportunity, but most of the times you procrastinate until the opportunity passes you by. When you do not believe in yourself, you allow self-doubt to rule over your decision-making process. You have the intelligence, skill, and connections needed to succeed. You often start important projects, but right in the middle of them, your self-doubt kicks in and causes you to quit. Because of self-doubt, you hardly finish the things you start, and that is why you remain on the same spot. When you do not believe in yourself, you seek validation from external sources. You rely on your family, peers, friends, colleagues, and church members for the acceptance that gives you a sense of identity, worth, and security. Because of this, you sacrifice being you and opt for being a shadow of these significant others. Conformity sometimes gets so bad that you rely even on social media ratings to boost your ego. As a result, you become addicted to fake appearances and the trends that are dictated by the entertainment industry. The fact is that most people do not believe in themselves. So if any of the above scenarios resonates with you, do not be too quick to be guilty. 95% of humans do not believe in themselves. And that is why only 5% of us are rich, successful and happy. But the problem is not that you do not believe in yourself. I know that sounds funny. As spiritual beings, living in a physical body, believing in is the modus operandi of our lives. As spiritual beings living in a physical body, believing is the modus operandi of our lives. It is impossible to live without believing in something. A belief is simply a subconscious program or paradigm that has become the spontaneous creator of our habitual experiences. Since you are a conscious being, you are always functioning from a state of consciousness. That state of consciousness is what is known as your belief. So, whether you realize it or not, you are a believer. The difference is that the quality of your belief determines the quality of your results. Here then is a revelation that you may be hearing for the first time in your life and which has the power to transform your life in ways you have never imagined before. All human beings believe in themselves, but the self you believe in determines the life you live. What do I mean by the self you believe in? As we have seen before, you are a being with two natures. You have a conditioned self and you have a sublime self. Your conditioned self is made up of your body, your intellect and your soul. 
This conditioned self was programmed by society and by your past experiences through the processes of pre-genetic selection, genetic selection, epigenetic control, astrological priming, childhood conditioning, cultural conditioning, and autosuggestion. We have discussed these modes of programming in detail in previous lessons, and it will be great if you can go back and review them. The conditioned self was not designed to be an end in itself, but to be a means to an end. That is, your conditioned self is the seed state out of which the real you is born. Unfortunately, humanity is still at the stage of evolution in which most people are still spiritually asleep, hypnotized by the lie that the conditioned self is the real self. They therefore spend their lives reacting to the conditioning that has been programmed into them and adapting to the circumstances that have been programmed for them. The first book of the New Testament to be written was the Gospel of Mark. In that Gospel, we find a declaration by which Jesus opened his earthly ministry. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. For thousands of years, religious people have misled us into believing that to repent means remorsefully confessing our sins and doing penance. This meaning crept into the Latin translation of the Bible from the 11th century old word repenti, which means to regret one's sin and amend one's ways. I have come to realize that Jesus was teaching practical psychology and not religion. The actual Greek word that was used in this verse, which was later translated repent, is metanoia. The more accurate translation for metanoia is radical change of mindset, spiritual conversion, or paradigm shift. Repentance means becoming a new person, a transformed person. And Paul tells us that this happens through the renewing of the mind. Therefore, Paul understood the concept of paradigm shift as the true meaning of repentance. The problem in your life is that you have been believing in the conditioned or outer self. You have been believing in the conditioned self because you have mistaken it for your real self. The solution to your life is to wake up to your sublime self. That divine essence that is within you as you, which is also called the Christ. Like I have said repeatedly, your conditioned self is the seed and your sublime self is the substance within that seed. It is through inspired wisdom like this that the scales of ignorance fall off your eyes and you recognize your conditioned self as a false reality. When this awakening occurs, you are ready to allow the real you, that sublime self, to emerge. Do not go around trying to believe in yourself. Do not go around paying for programs that motivate you to believe in yourself. Simply ask yourself, which self do I believe in? If you are living from, if you are living your life from your conditioned self, you are doomed for struggle and suffering. If you are living your life from the sublime self, you are destined for freedom and abundance. The matter of believing, therefore, boils down to one word, choice. I am Godfrey Aso. Thank you for following this episode of 
raptures of inspiration.